Ringside or Riot, where we floss our teeth every day so our mouth never gets that bloody. <gasps> Up and pour yourself a cold drink. We're gonna talk about the things that fire you up. Because, because it is wrestling. Everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. Talk about it. We gonna talk about it. Talk about the things that really fire you up. And because, because it is wrestling. Everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. Count me amongst those that ran their mouths too early over Brock Lesnar's return. I can admit when I'm a tiny bit wrong, that brawl was awesome. Too awesome, in fact, to let John Cena's dumb quips later on in the night ruin it for me. They hit each other pretty hard. It was kind of scary. I don't think I'm cut out for that kind of confrontation. Nah, just kidding, yeah! Fight, yeah! Seriously, it was almost like the good old days. All I could think was Hogan and Andre trying to get their hands on each other with almost the entire roster in the ring separating Brock Lesnar and John Cena. Ride the old school wave that started at WrestleMania 28 for as long as you can. Big Show thinks this is what's embarrassing? There's nothing wrong with being dashing. It's much better than waddling through your match like a knucklehead. The guy walks to the ring waving and smiling like a European princess for 18 months and suddenly feels like he can run his mouth because he got lucky winning one of the most prestigious championships in the business? Hopefully soon, someone can set Big Show straight. Because right now, all he's doing for me is what he's been doing for a while. Making me fall asleep. I'm all about giving credit where credit is due. And right now there's none to be given, sorry. Jax, make me a new ring! WWE presents Legends House. Can these legends live together in a house without driving each other crazy? <laughs> Dubstep is kind of like a robot construction site. <laughs> oh, wait. Was there something else I was supposed to be talking about? Oh yeah, Legends House. I guess I forgot. It's time for a new segment. Make a video response to this episode with the craziest, most intense look at one of your favorite figures from your collection in 15 to 30 seconds, and we'll put it in the next episode of Ringside or Riot. Check out our Facebook page for official details. Fan figure friends here. What? 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 Oh, that's right. It's me. Call from days down from the 12th. Well, then you know what? Because if you know what, I know, I know, I know. I'm excited to calm down. Hey, hey, you eating the Cocoa Puffs, all right? Calm down. You're going to choke. Hey, hey, you on Skype. Pay attention. Anyway, I'm here this week with Ladies of Wrestling to talk about AJ. Mm -hmm. Now, as some of you out there may know, quite recently, AJ was kicked to the curb by her man, Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. Very hard for Carlton James Johnson to watch, but you know what I gotta say to that? Good riddance. Man, everybody knows if it wasn't for AJ, Daniel Bryan would still be champion right now. We wouldn't have to be dealing with this offspring of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and a carrot in Samus. Mm-mm, mm-mm. See, Daniel Bryan need to find him a good woman, like, like China, or, or Lita, or the Miz. Maybe then he can get his World Heavyweight title back. Until then, AJ can do all the Piper's pits that she wants. I don't want to see her around Daniel Bryan no more, so I'm glad he got rid of her. Mm-hmm. I know it's a little cynical this week, but that is Ladies in Wrestling, and I am Carlton James Johnson the 12th. <laughs> Ringsider Ride is brought to you by the Mattel WWE Rumblers, bite-sized, stylized versions of your favorite WWE superstars. Warning, do not eat unless you are a robot that consumes plastic. Welcome Ringsider Riot, Tim Ash here with another segment of Buzz from the Basement. This week we're going to bring you a really, really exclusive figure. Many of you guys know this guy as Hornswoggle on WWE Smackdown Television. Hornswoggle is a huge collector like me and many of you guys out there on the Buzz from the Basement segments here. And this is an exclusive figure that I don't even think he owns yet. This figure was produced by Jax about two or three years ago. 
and it is an exclusive to the employees of Jax. There's only about nine of these in existence and I happen to have one. It is a completely glow-in-the-dark, ruthless aggression style horn swoggle. As you can tell from the hat all the way down, it's completely glow in the dark. Now remember, this figure was just an employee exclusive only. It was not released to the public, and it was not released to Hornswoggle himself, which I think might have drove the little man a little crazy. But we just wanted to bring this little piece to you as a little super segment for this week's Buzz in the Basement to let you guys know that there are some exclusive figures out there that you might want to be looking for to add to your collection. See you next time on Buzz from the Basement. Talk to you soon. Hmm. Where we first met. Please don't go. No, no, no. If you go, I'll be sad and blue. So I say, no, no, no. Don't go away. No, no. Alright, I did everything I could to try and keep him around. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for future episodes. Follow our Twitter account. Like our Facebook page. And check out Ringside Collectibles at WrestlingFigures.com for the largest selection of wrestling figures anywhere in the universe.